episode 50. Yes, 50 of FTB Let's Play University 1.16 of my Let's Play series. I said I already said Let's Play series. Well, I said it again. So this episode, we're actually going to look more on the Mahu Sukai, however you want to pronounce it, spells. And I'm pretty excited because I actually had to look up a video for it. <laughs> so I already made a catalyst over there. Well, not really a catalyst, but a, a spell circle. And now I'm going to make all these other materials in order to get my first spell scroll. So uh, first we're going to make the hammer, which requires two cobblestone stick and some string. Um, the hammer will basically just break down the actual um, ingots that we need and uh, to, into powdered forms. Also, the mortar and pestle does the same thing. So I thought to myself, I'm just going to make the mortar and pestle instead because I, I have enough diamonds. It's basically an upgrade to the hammer. That's all I'm saying. If you know what I mean, jelly bean. All right. Now, I think we might have enough for, for the materials here. Let's see here. Mortar. And we need bricks. Bricks. Do I have bricks? Do I have bricks? I do not, but bricks are easy to, to make. I have a ton of clay. Let's grab a stack of clay here. And we'll just cook some up real quick. Maybe if I can get to my machines. Uh, here we go. Yep, all right. So make some bricks real quick. While that's making bricks, what else do I need for this? And I just need some sticks, which sticks are easy because I have the oak planks for it. Bam, I now have sticks. Make the pestle, bam. And now I have enough bricks to make the mortar. Now that I have that, I can make the mortar and pestle, and bam. Which, actually, that's further down. That I believe it. I guess it's not further down. Well, I gotta make a spell cloth next, which that doesn't take much. That's the next thing on my list. You make a spell cloth in order to make a spell scroll. So. Because you got to put the incantation that's on the ground over there onto the spell cloth. So I made a little mistake on that. Um, I should have um, wool cloth. I think I do. I hope I do. Because I don't feel like hunting down sheep. But yeah, I do have some white wool. We'll just use the rest of that. Take the dagger. Take the white wool. Turn it into some spell cloth, so we have about eight now. I wonder if I can get rid of this. Yes, I can. Cool. So I'm gonna put the spell cloth there. Going to hurt myself with the dagger. Oh crap! That's not what I wanted to do. So uh, and then I think it's M. Or was it comma? I think it was comma. Yes. There we go. I can't believe I remember that, but I now have the spell incantation on the spell cloth. Now that I have that, pretty much have all these. And there's also a mystic code too, but I feel like I'm not gonna make it in this episode. I just want to make my first spell scroll. So that's that's my main goal. That's what I'm gonna do. So there was one I really like. It was called Strengthening. A strengthening scroll will strengthen the first thing on your heart bar, hot bar or your offhand if you're holding something. Strengthening I Strengthened items are temporary, unbreakable, do more damage, and have increased mining capabilities. So I thought to myself, why not put it on my atomic disassembler? It, it might work. I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see if it work. But first, we'll need the materials, which we're just going to need some diamond and some iron, which that's super easy. One, two, and then some iron. Wherever iron is. We go over here. Now I think I just put that in here. 
Oh, cool. It does. It makes the powdered iron. I don't have to get like the ore. Oh, there we go. Quest complete, spell components, and scrolls. Excellent. I got both of those tasks complete, and now I need to get the diamonds. Make about six powder diamonds. And then let's check our quest book. So I'm finished with that, no rewards. Make a caster's gauntlet. And then mystic code. Yeah, we'll definitely make those in the future. I want to make a scroll. <laughs> so let's see, it said two powdered. Oops, I think it said two diamond powdered. Hold on, let's see here. Yep, two diamond powdered and one iron. Okay, one, two, and then three. Uh, there we go. I have a scroll now. The scroll of strength strengthening. So do I just right click on it? Excellent. I now have it. And I cast it, and it required 50 mana. Because the, like, the top left corner of my mana bar is low now. A little bit lower than it was. So I now have efficiency. Yep, I have unbreakable strengthened. Yeah, it flipping worked on the at atomic disassembler. Holy cow. That's <laughs> super cool. Wow. I mean, I don't need Unbreakable, but I got Efficiency 20 on it. <laughs> and it does more damage to mobs. That's incredible. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Well, I'm actually pretty excited that worked. Okay. Well, let's make the Mystic Code. Might as well. Because I already have six cloth and I just need, what, uh, some Glowstone? Yeah, I can get Glowstone. One, two, three. Okay, glowstone. I think I should be able to make it. Oh, powdered gold. My bad. Gold's easy to get. I just need one of these. Actually, I need I need another. Here we go. Take it. Bam. Now I have powdered gold, which I can now make the mystic code. And now I have the caster's gauntlet and i've completed that quest basically what the mystic code does it can hold three stacks of scrolls like one of the scrolls i had and you can just use it select a scroll by holding the y button by default then right click to use that scroll which that's super cool so like let's see let's use it here oh that's cool i love the animation and there you go there's the y key oh if you right click, it shows off the uh, another animation. That is so cool. <laughs> all right, since I'm finished with all this, let's let's do another goal here. This is a little bit different than what I normally do. So we're gonna make the Mystic Code for sorcery, which I need Fey Essence. Drop by Fey after death, you monster. Oh, I have no idea where to get Fey Essence from. Uh. Gotta figure out how to get how to kill a fae. Um, but actually, let's see. Since I cannot make my mystic scroll, basically, what does this do, anyways? Works like the mystic code, but does not does not delete scrolls when they are used. However, as a trade off, itself has durability, so you can keep continuing to use those scroll that scroll. Okay. Now, my question is, how long do I have the strengthened uh, <laughs> spell on this uh, atomic disassembler? Because I don't have a time limit or anything like that. That's crazy. But anyways, actually, let's, let's go find another spell we can uh, do. Projection. The first use of this scroll memorizes a tool or weapon you're looking at for the whole stack. The second you use gives you a copy of the tool with limited durability. It drains 100 mana from the caster each time the scroll is used. So I could look at an item, then I get a durability of that item. That's cool. 
Proximity Projection. Use the scroll grants the caster a weapon, which allows the caster to simultaneously teleport to and attack an entity they see at long, ra at long range. It drains 30 mana from the ca- Okay. Weapon projectiles. A granite bow, which can shoot tools and weapons. <laughs> That's cool. Reality Marble. The scroll teleports a user and optionally a target the user is looking at to a fixed spot to in the uh, yeah, in the reality marble if the user has a target one of the two must die for the other to leave otherwise taking damage will allow the player to leave it drains 4000 mana that's crazy there is a lot of spells this circle when placed on the floor will spawn a lake each growth of the lake Cross thirty mana. When the lake has reached the full size, the caster could throw it in the throw in an enchanted sword in order to get Caliburn, a holy sword which will have the damage of the sword plus extra based on its enchantments. Hint: holier is better. And I need five thousand exchanging a sword and five thousand mana. Wow. Okay. Well, there is a bunch of cool spells, and we're probably gonna have a lot more fun in the next episode but thank you all for watching please like and subscribe uh everything you want to know about me is down in the description below i also live stream on twitch from 8 to 10 on thursdays and fridays um i hope to see you there and just chat up with me you know i get lonely sometimes so anyways you all take care and have peace